this point, any diehard jazz fan is well aware that Rudy Gobert is more than just some lead-footed paint protector. While Rudy got a reputation as a poor defender in space, largely from one video from half a decade ago of him getting turned around by Steph Curry, one of the best ball handlers on the planet, that rep is highly inaccurate. Today's video will provide pretty solid proof, both through numbers and a lot of film, that not only is Gobert far from a liability as an isolated defender against quicker guys, he's actually one of the best centers in the NBA in this area. Dating back to the start of the 2018-19 season, opponents have posted an efficiency of 0.73 points per chance on any possession where a guard isolates against Gobert, per second spectrum data via source. That's the lowest number in the NBA among all centers defending at least 80 attempts in that time frame. A quick shout out here also to another guy who's definitely underrated in this category, Denver's Nikola Jokic, who has faced a ton of isolations and, as you can see, has posted numbers nearly as stingy as Gobert while defending them. Now look, this data isn't perfect. These samples are moderate, but certainly not as robust as we'd like, even for Rudy and some of the other centers who see the most isolations on a regular basis. Some may even have cause to doubt these numbers, in which case we turn to the tape. Here are all 31 isolations logged by a guard with Gobert as the defender this season that have ended in a shot, foul, or turnover. You be the judge for yourself, and we'll check back in to tally the numbers afterward. Russell has yet to score here in the fourth. Chased by Ingles, Rudy put up a hand, tough shot, right on cue. Russell knocks it in. That loose change up in the air, not on the floor. We got another crack at it. Hill probing, surveying, steps back baseline, no. Horford, can he keep it alive? Cannot. Now pulls out Gobert. Looking for a running start, gets it, scoop, and just a little bit short. Somewhat of a rut. If you're Oklahoma City, is that time and block from Gobert out of bounds on Diallo. Yeah, he was actually double teamed on that pass from Donovan. Donovan was wide open, had a nice little mid range in there. Second turnover, Chris Paul on a step back, rattles in his fifth point. Oh, something in the air here that he likes. And a San Antonio Wagner High School. DeJounte got that one blocked by, blocked by Gobert, and now tries a three, oh, and Gobert blocks that. Gobert is back as well, protecting the basket. Now Rivers trying to exploit him. Shot clock at three. Rivers steps behind the arc, fires, and hits over Gobert. How good they were, and that they still had a lot of home games to make up, and that's when they made hay when they got back home. Osmond with a three. Quinn Snyder has done quite the job in Utah. This is his seventh season. Okoro watched by Gobert. Goes across the lane and that's swatted by Rudy. Six point lead. Murray still looking for some points. Not a bad and shot. And Gobert blocked it. You got Green right behind you, wide open at that three point line. Bucket by Bogey. Back comes Porzingis. Shot rebounded by Joe. Will he, will he challenge Rudy again? Yeah, that's not the matchup I, I think you want to go for there. Well, okay, Barton knocks Rudy in the three. Well. <laughs> but the Jazz are doing a great job of not letting them set up on the three-point line. Jazz started 8 of 11 of late, 5 of the last 14. Now Brogdon is you going to the count. Oh, he got to it. Gobert got a piece of the shot. Eight of probing. Working with Thompson, now Thompson gives him some room. Tatum's got Gobert. Between the legs, Tatum got it. Oh, silky smooth from Jason Tatum. Donovan in particular doing a nice job of a well-balanced game, getting to the line 13 times. Gobert denied. Clippers were the ones that were dumbfounded because the Jazz would win that game, ultimately the series. As Lou Williams tries to fire over the top of Gobert, it is blocked. To me, you can't get a technical foul if you don't say anything. You just make a face at an opponent. Is that all he did there? Just put up the two fingers toward the official? Did, it was hard to tell. Three-point lead for the Jazz. Here's Tatum. Try to tip, slapped away, and recovered by Tice of Boston. Traded to the Lakers. In fact, he was all rookie. First team is a member of the Lakers.
Tatum comes up short on a three-point attempt that is batted out of bounds. Dribbles out. He's got Gobert on him. Shot clock to seven. Westbrook in the paint. Was up in the air, nowhere to go with it. Mitchell the other way. Speaking up for so long, women in sport have been convinced that we should. Or Fred Van Vliet, Steady Freddy, and you yeah. can certainly give that nickname to Mike Conley as well. And the bucket is oh, good. Oh, looking and good early. Zach Levine having a great shooting year all over the floor. Matched up with Gobert. Oh, that coffin corner three is good. Oh, that was a tough shot. Puts his head down and takes that hit from the defender. Finishes. Inside shot around Gobert. Sexton goes inside, backs it out. Rudy follows, picks him up at the three point line. Blocked the shot. Hello. Hello, Swat Lake City. <laughs> Joe for three on the other end. Kind of reciprocating what Cleveland was doing on missed shots. Rudy Gobert running the floor. Dotson shot, won't drop. Impressive young backcourt for Cleveland. Garland and Sexton, and that shot drained. I'd like to see the Grizzlies start to do more trapping of Jordan Clarkson, or at least get up. Make him have to be a passer. You know that it's not something that he wants to do. Here's a quick breakdown of the plays we just saw. For this year, Gobert has allowed 0.75 points per chance on guard isolations that lead to a shot, foul, turnover, or pass to an immediate shooter, per tracking data. Of the 29 shots guys have managed to get off against him on these plays, he's blocked 9. That's a 31% block rate, an unfathomable rate for any player over any reasonable period of time. Here also are the splits based on shot type. We saw Chris Paul and a couple other mid-range assassins get Rudy, and guys are 3 for 6 there this year, but they've struggled everywhere else generally. Here's the list of guys who have scored on Rudy and ISO this year, plus the shot type on which they've done so. And to be clear, no one is saying the Jazz should abandon their normal defense and just have Rudy switch and guard isolations all game. For one, his value at the rim and as a rebounder is still really high, even if he's proven he's also good in space. For another, the numbers we've cited here are only proof of Gobert's general competence against guards overall. There are obviously examples of star guards and wings you don't want to see him on an island against for too many possessions. No one's suggesting Kyrie Irving, Dame Lillard, or others of their ilk should fear Gobert's isolation defense if they see him in front of them. No, they should obviously attack him because they're stars and they can still score on great defenders. Still, the evidence is pretty clear overall. Anyone telling you with a straight face that Gobert is a one-dimensional defender incapable of guarding outside his position pretty clearly isn't watching. Maybe send them this video.